Hey kids, welcome to the video. Today we're going to learn four basic open chords on your guitar. Okay, so let's get started. The first chord that we're going to learn is a two finger chord. If you don't know your finger numbers yet, it's uh, one for your index pointer finger, two for your middle finger, three for your ring finger, and four for your pinky. So one, two, three, four. We don't count the thumb because you don't use the thumb to fret any strings yet. Thumb is just a thumb. Now back to the chord, we use only two fingers and we only use a single fret. That's the second fret. This is the first fret, this is the second fret. These two fingers of yours will fret inside the second fret. What are those strings? The fifth string and the fourth string. First finger will fret the fifth string and your second finger will fret the fourth string, both inside the second fret. Now, we strum all the strings. This chord includes all the strings, all the six strings. So it's a good chord to practice uh, your strumming or your plucking hand, okay? Now use your thumb to support the shape of the chord. You put your thumb behind the neck. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly in the middle behind of the neck. You can put it a little bit above. It's uh, aligned with my first and second finger here. Make sure that all the strings are ringing correctly by plucking it one at a time. If you encounter this kind of sound, like that, part of your fingers are touching the other strings. So you need to curl or curl your fingers more and use your fingertips. Okay, make sure that this part of your finger doesn't touch the fretboard. See, there's a gap between this part of my hand, of my fingers, and the fretboard or the strings. So it doesn't touch the other strings. There you go. That is what we call the E minor open chord. So practice that first. Next is the G major open chord. From the E minor, the shape like this, there is a common finger between E minor and G major. Okay, it's your first finger. That means you don't need to remove your first finger. It's a common note between these two chords. So uh, what I want you to do is lift your second finger and put it on the sixth string, third fret. So now you have this shape here. See that? Now from E minor again, let's go back to E minor. The common finger or the common note between E minor and G is your first finger. So you don't need to remove that first finger, keep it there. You can adjust it later when you switch uh, chords, but for now, just lift your second finger and fret the third fret of the sixth string. There you go. And we're already halfway there. Uh, the next, we have a third finger now. This is your third finger fretting the first string, third fret. Now this G uh, major open chord is a three finger chord, like that, because we use three fingers, okay? From E minor, two fingers only. To G, you just lift your second finger, fret the third string, uh, the third fret of the sixth string, and add your third finger, fretting the first string of the third fret. And this chord also um, uses all the strings, the six strings. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's a good practice also for your strumming hand or plucking hand. Okay. So practice this next chord. Now, before we move on to the third and fourth chord, I want you to practice E minor and G major, switching, changing chords. Okay. So back and forth E minor, G major, E minor, G major. Now, uh, the step is, again, think about the common finger between these two chords. It's your first finger, so it just remains where it is. And the first step is removing your first, your second finger and fret that sixth string on the third fret. That's the first step, okay? Like this. The next is your third finger fretting the first string, third fret. So again, step by step from E minor, second finger to the sixth string, third fret, then next your third finger to the first string, third fret. So that's kind of a good way to practice, okay? From E minor, slow down, step one, 
second finger on the sixth string, step two, uh, first, third finger on the first string, third fret. Now, if you keep on practicing that, those steps, eventually you can change chords in one movement, okay? Like this, here, 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 and here. So practice that. Next is the open C major chord. Now, this chord involves three fingers also. So the fingering is, first finger is on the second string, first fret, like this. Check it first before we move on, okay? So first finger, second string, first fret. You pluck it and make sure that the first string, zero fret, is also playing like that. Because if this happens, your first finger is probably touching this first string. So keep clear of that first string. Make sure that those strings are playing properly. Even the third string should be playing properly also, see? So. That on its own is already a C chord, but we utilize all the strings as we can. So the second finger will fret the fourth string inside the second fret here. So let's check it again before we add the third finger. Let's check the fourth string if it's playing properly. The third string, second, and the first string. If you got that right already, let's add the third finger. You're using the third finger on the fifth string, third fret, okay? There you go. If you were able to uh, get the first and second finger correct already, just adding that third finger will be easier and that's the notes that you're be playing. Those are... There you go. It should sound that way if you're doing it correctly, okay? So again, uh, we only use the fifth string up to the first string when we're plucking it. We avoid playing the E string. Although an E note is part of the C major chord, but we want the root note to be the lowest note, which is a C, see? So this is your third finger here, the third fret of the fifth string, that's a C note. So we want that note the lowest. There, practice that. So again, if you look at it closely, from E minor, we have a common finger to C. It's your second finger, see? So this is E minor. And this is C. Now my second finger doesn't have to move. Okay, E minor, C. Now I use these common fingers to show you how you can navigate your other fingers using these common fingers, okay? With a shape. So E minor, common finger with C is the middle finger or second finger. You can use that as a landmark to navigate your other fingers for the shape of C. There you go. So practice that also, E minor and C. So here's a quick tip. If you can't avoid hitting the E string on, on the C chord, you can use your thumb now to just kind of touch the string and mute it, not fretting it. If you fret it, it's gonna play, okay? So just lightly touch it, just enough to mute that string. So that's gonna sound this way. So whatever I do with my uh, strumming hand, it's not gonna play. It's just gonna play, uh, I'm just gonna hear the fifth string downwards. So I don't really have to uh, worry about my fretting hand, my, my strumming hand hitting the E string when I'm fretting it with my thumb on the C chord, okay? But when you go back to the E minor, we use all the chords, all the strings, so just release it with your thumb. Then when you switch to C, make it an, like an automatic uh, fingering also, along with C, use your thumb to mute that. the C major open chord. Our last chord for today is the D major open chord. This chord uses three fingers also, your first, second, and third finger, and it involves four strings only. We avoid playing the fifth and the sixth string. So the fingering is this. 
first finger will fret the third string of the second fret, your second finger will fret the first string of your second fret, and your third finger will fret the second string of your third fret, and you land this shape like this, okay? Now remember, we don't use the fifth and sixth string, we only use the fourth string up to the first string. So when we strum it, or we pluck each string one at a time, we start on the fourth string. Try avoiding the fifth string and the sixth string. Again, you can use your thumb to mute that sixth string, but the fifth string is kind of hard to mute with your thumb. If you can do it, that's okay, but it, if you can reach that, it, you tend to hit that uh, E string and it might play. So better if you just mute that E string and try to avoid the fifth string. Sometimes the fifth string might be plucked. That's okay sometimes because A is also part of the D chord, D major chord. But if uh, the song requires me to play just the, the basic notes and the lowest D, uh, the lowest note of the D chord, which is D, then you really have to avoid the fifth string. It will take practice to avoid it with your strumming hand, okay? But for now, let's focus on the chord itself. Fourth string, the third string, the second string, and the first string. So there you go. That's the D major open chord. Practice those chords separately and then practice those chord change from E to G, or E to C. You can interchange it C to D or G to D or E minor to D. So practice those chord, those chord changes. So here's a bonus tip. Uh, you can interchange those chord changes and you can use a chord progression like G, uh, E minor, C, and D. Okay, so try playing those chords in that order, G, E minor, C, and D. And you'll find that chord progression in many songs today, uh, many pop songs, many popular songs. So here, let me play that chord progression. I was strum each chord twice only, so here we go. sound familiar so practice that chord progression for now and I hope this helps you out and I'll see you on the next video